Hello everyone, in today's video I'll cover a few topics about gaming on low-end systems. Let's go. I'm going to cover three topics today, the topics are, how integrated graphics work and why they suck, why 8GB of RAM isn't enough in 2020, and how you can use an USB stick as RAM. Let's cover the first topic about integrated graphics. Integrated graphics are placed on the same chip as the CPU. It means that it doesn't have any independent video memory and instead relies on your system's RAM for graphics processing. These types of graphics cards aren't meant for gaming but they're meant to output an image to display. However these types of GPUs can be modified in a way so that they can work for gaming without any issues. Now the reason they suck is that they don't have their own video memory and they take a big portion of your RAM just to make games work. Also integrated graphics use a lot less power and aren't as powerful as other GPUs. However, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM you would be able to use your integrated graphics for gaming, but the reason they're really bad is that they usually are in a 4 or 8 gigabyte system as other systems usually have a dedicated graphics card. Now let's cover the second topic about why 8 gigabytes of RAM isn't enough in 2020. There are many reasons why 8 gigabytes RAM isn't enough. Even if you're using a dedicated or an integrated graphics card it's still very bad. Windows nowadays takes from 1.5 GB to 2 GB of RAM. If you have integrated graphics they might usually use 2 to 4 GB of RAM. Most of the modern games take up to 4 GB of RAM. So if you have integrated graphics it's a living hell full of stutters and lag, but if you have dedicated graphics you'll be barely able to make it. Integrated graphics users are in a loophole where the processor tries to process every detail of the game. The integrated graphics card takes the power of your CPU, and also takes lots of RAM. And when there isn't enough RAM your hard drive is used as RAM, but that isn't good as the hard drive must load the map and other details very quickly. When very resource intensive games are played on these types of systems they most likely end up crashing after a few minutes. Let's cover the third topic about how you can use an USB stick as RAM. In every Windows, there is a feature where you can use any portable device as RAM. That feature is called Ready Boost. You can fully dedicate a portable device as RAM. You must have a USB drive with more than 1 GB of storage to use this feature. It works like this. Windows will store super fetch data on your USB drive, freeing up system memory. It's faster to read various small files from your USB stick than it is to read them from your hard drive, so this can theoretically improve your system's performance. While this doesn't make a big difference in gaming it will give you a more responsive system and will make most games use 512 megabytes to 1 gigabyte of RAM less. I hope I helped you with something in this video, if I did please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe and have a great day, goodbye.